Hey guys, this is Solrak333 with another review and here I have the Star Wars Black Series uh, Darth Maul. Uh, this is the new 6 inch scale line from uh, Hasbro <coughs> and uh, how to get this guy. I love uh, Darth Maul. Uh, I think he's one of the best things from the prequel. Uh, and uh, I just love collecting Sith Lords. Um, and this figure is pretty cool. Uh, it does not disappoint. And uh, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, this is how he comes packaged. Um, wearing his uh, robes. And the robe is made of a soft plastic. Um, and it looks really cool. Uh, the head is molded into the soft plastic so it's all one piece and you'll see why in a second uh, when he has the robe on he, he does have limited shoulders articulation but uh, the elbows and the wrists uh, are not impeded you can still have waist swivel and ab crunch and knees bend so you can still get some pretty cool poses um, the head can move slightly but again it's attached to the robes um, comes with slight saber so you can recreate the scene uh, in episode one when he makes his appearance fighting a uh, Qui-Gon And or you can have him stand backwards as Qui-Gon flies away. So pretty cool. You can attach the lightsaber part to it right there. Um, and he does have just come with his uh, binoculars. which you can't hold up to his face because of the robes but it looks pretty cool as for the robe the head is attached on a ball joint so you can just pop the head off and just slide it slide his arms through and now you have a headless Darth Maul ball joint right there and you attached the head, the second head that it comes with, and now you have Darth Maul ready to fight. You can attach the second lightsaber, and again with articulation, he now has full range. You can whoops, head can fly off. Look up and down, left and right. Shoulders can now have a wider range of motion moving up and down and around all the way. Uh, the wrists can also turn, although it's a stiff joint. The wrist can go this way, basically. So lots of cool poses. Um, can do splits about that far. Double knee joint and the feet has a lot of ankle articulation I mean you can get really cool poses out of him if I can get him to stand balance right there oh. doesn't want to cooperate but yeah he can definitely stand in some really cool poses uh, just kind of find the right balance and uh, there you go the lightsabers can split so you can have them hold both
and looking really cool. Uh, so you can have Darth Maul and then Ghost Darth Maul. And here is Darth Maul next to the three and three quarter scale figures. Uh, yeah, I like Darth Maul. So Darth Maul with the robot legs. And Darth Maul in a business suit. And Darth Maul after his sex change. But yeah, very cool figure, highly recommended. Um, I don't think I will collect every one of these six inch figures, um, but man, if they made Sith Lords, I would definitely buy them. I, I definitely want a Darth Vader. Um, I would get the Boba Fett. Um, he looks cool, he would be my next one to get if I get another one. But man, if they made Sith Lords, I would definitely buy them all up. As for the six inch figures, uh, here he is next to He-Man. So you can have him fight He-Man. Stand up. Uh, you can have him next to Batman. Batman's like, what the hell are you? Although not six inches and fight Lino. Lino is like, what the hell are you? And since he is six inches, I'm kind of curious. And I guess he can ride Battle Cat. And I think Darth Maul would look pretty cool next to this guy. And the red and black going there. And so, yeah, pretty cool. Definitely love this figure pretty cool figure I hope they do more especially Sith Lords if they do a Darth Vader hell yeah I'll get that um, but Darth Maul very cool figure thanks for watching